Hi you guys. I am refinishing this piece this week. What? Two videos in the same weekend? Who this? This is the person who forgot that the challenge was due tomorrow, Sunday, the 29th of January. I thought this challenge was due in February sometime. So let's get right to it because I don't have time but to be working on this right now. The New Year's Challenge, Diamonds, Glitters, and Shine. Hosted by Lovely Jubbly Furniture, my friend Meg, I decided this is the perfect piece for this challenge because it's kind of very feminine. It could be a great piece for really anywhere in the, in the house and it's in pretty good shape. I actually had this piece at my shop for some time. I took it as a piece that really took me out of a bind and is in such great shape that I just took it as is but it didn't sell and I just know that it just needs a refinishing now it is at least Clairborne piece so it's maybe vintage probably from the 90s definitely not an antique so don't be mad if because I'm painting it I'm gonna go ahead and start by scuff sanding every single piece of it I am going to give it a good clean and then we're gonna take it into the booth and we're gonna do something special. This beautiful little cabinet was going to be a bleeder and I kind of suspected that. So I grabbed my bin shellac, gave it a very good coat and waited for this to dry. I was not wrong. There is bleeding, especially on the top and on the sides. So for the second coat, I am doing a gray primer and I've had really good success with this. This is a Rust-Oleum type primer and it dries fast and it adheres very well. I usually don't get any runs with the spray kind and so I like using it. Plus it gives a really good full coverage. I did end up using almost the entire can on this because I did both drawers, the top and the sides and I did it as if I was almost applying a coat of paint. So it does give again really good coverage. I highly recommend it. So then I had the not so bright idea to use some chalk paint that I had that is also by rust -Oleum, but it's in a can. I really have only used it for small projects and I thought this was going to be a great thing but I was so wrong and I do mean ever so wrong. There were runs and normally with my sprayer I am at the point that I don't have that many runs anymore because I've used it for many many years so I know how to dilute the paint if I need to how much water to use so that I don't have runs with this spray can I had no idea I thought I was spraying far away enough not you know too much not staying too much on certain areas but I was completely wrong I am here showing you all the runs that I had. I had runs on the sides, on the front, on the legs, behind the legs. I had runs, guys, <laughs> everywhere. And I am so glad that I stopped using that and I went back and just got some regular oil paint and sprayed it with my trusty sprayer. So if you guys remember yesterday I did the paint on this and I had a few rough spots since this is going to be a metallic finish 
the first time I say it. Um, I need everything to be as smooth as possible. So I'm doing some extra sanding. I'm gonna do a light coat again with the paint, just with the brush and then allow this to dry and then come back and I'm gonna show you how I mix my metallic paint to make sure that it adheres and that is sealed at the same time. Let's go right to it. I'm going to be using a metallic finish on this because it's all about the glitter and the shine. So the my go-to metallics are definitely the Heavy Metals by White Owl Paint. This is in a color that I won't be using today because it's too dark, but I absolutely love it. And if you need a true silver, this is like a, a carbon silver, which looks absolutely beautiful. I really like Modern Masters. This is a little bit more pricey in this size um, but is a fantastic product i use it all the time and i don't even have enough in this one to complete the project i think that's why i won't be using it today i don't know i might have enough we'll see um, and then there is also moonshine metallics by dixie bell which i also like a lot i have not used this color before and this might be the color that i'm looking for because this has a lot of gold in it and i'm going to be doing gold accents to that piece so may go with this may do a combination of this too but the trick the trick is that i always use top coat and mix it along with the paint to make sure that this seals itself as I'm spraying it. That's the other thing that I will be doing today. I'm gonna be spraying the metallic paint on rather than brushing it on. Um, and that to me and for me, it gives the best finish that I can use with metallics. I've done it many, many times. I'll actually leave you some pictures of, of pieces that I have done before also, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me show you how I mix this. My best advice when you're spraying these products is to take it very, very slow. Make sure that the settings on your sprayer are all the way down to the lowest that would allow you to spray. And then just do several coats rather than one thick coat. This will keep you from pulling your hair out as you will see soon. And um, you will get the best results better thin coats than thick coats all at once. First coat is on and it looks amazing.
Okay, Hour of Truth and Confession and Transparency. This is a total fail right now. It is frustrating because I'm rushing. So I really am just frustrated with myself. I also think I made a mistake, something that I've never done before. You can see this is dry in here and I have a few little pieces of something. I don't know what was in the paint, but this entire side does not want to dry. It was dripping and I just basically grabbed a wet rag and went at it. That is the first coat of the metallic over the white that I had. You can see that the white is staying intact. The metallic is actually sticking in most of the paint. It, in most of the piece, it was really hard to take it off, but I did it to even it out. The front is fine. This leg up to a certain point is fine. And then this side is doing better. I'm really working really hard to take off this paint. What I did, I think, wrong was I mixed the Dixie Belle and the rust -Oleum because I wanted to get a lighter color. The color of the Dixie Belle is a little bit more gold than I wanted it. And so I went in with the rust and I created sort of a, I don't know, a different tone, like a bronze. And I think the rust does not, I don't know if it's too old because I, I honestly have had it for quite some time or what is going on, but it just didn't, didn't mix well and it did not want to dry. Not like the gold, as you see, has dried on this. So I'm removing that rust -Oleum with the rag as much as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, come back with just the Dixie Belle and just stay with the gold. You see that the drawers are actually doing really well. And that's the color that I wanted, which is really pretty. A little higher gold champagne, if you will but it's not happening and again i'm mad at myself because i'm rushing but i've got to give this time so for this video's sake i might just put it on my staging wall as it's still drying take pictures and show you guys how it's going to look and then post something later on because i've got to let this dry because ultimately this is to sell it and i've got to allow it the time that it needs Again, the top is dry and fine, except for those little things right there, which I will sand once this is dry. And as you can see, it's dry and I'll put the fans on them and I have four fans on this, but frustrating. This side, extremely frustrating, but mostly I'm just frustrated at myself. I think the product is doing what it's supposed to do. It is also a rainy day here, so that's not helping me. But anyways, live and learn and transparency first. Ultimately, this needed time. I needed to allow at least one hour between each coat and this piece needed more coverage in some areas than others, so I needed to give it some time.
did it. While that continues to dry, I'm going to add some gilding wax to the sides of the drawers to add some more drama and I will add the paper inside of the drawer and the hardware. All the diamonds and pearls and glamour and all of that stuff. I'm also going to go ahead and show you guys some of the pieces that I have done previously these were some nightstands they were done in the modern masters this is a rustoleum product right here and it was two dressers look at that shine and then finally i also made a piece for my sister a desk and she absolutely loves it now let's remember this little cabinet that was in serious need of a makeover well maybe not serious need but it did need a makeover and metallic paint in my mind was exactly what it needed she's about 95 percent done she's still drying though and she's probably still drying at the shop not probably she's still drying at the shop but she definitely has diamond and shine those knobs are on there she's shining because that metallic paint on it was exactly what this piece needed. It has some really pretty details on the sides and it has a gorgeous liner inside the drawers and it will look spectacular when I am able to stage it. I just needed extra time to allow it to dry and those things happen. I shorted myself on time, but I don't think that I shorted this piece in style and glamour. Definitely the New Year's challenge gave me a run for my money, but I do hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thank you to Meg again for putting this challenge together, and I will catch you guys in a few days with a new redesign. Thanks, you guys. Bye.